Hi everyone, thanks for watching my online lesson on exchange rates. So this is a foundation and higher tier topic. This question I have here is a more basic example and these questions normally come up on a calculator paper. This question says, Jamie goes on holiday to Florida. The exchange rate is £1 is $1.70. He changes £900 into dollars. How many dollars should he get? So the first step I will always do when answering one of these questions is rewrite out the exchange rate that they've given me. So they've said that £1 is $1.70. The next thing I'll do is I'll write underneath this another equal sign and fill in the inf other information they've given me. So they want me to find what £900 is. So I'm going to put that underneath this £1. I'm going to keep all my pounds on one side and all my dollars on the other. So I'm going to write 900 underneath here. And they're asking me, what is this in dollars? So if I look, to get from this side of the equation, from the pound side to the dollar side, I am multiplying by 1.7. That's how I get from one pound to $1.7. So to get from the 900 to the answer, I'm going to multiply by 1.7. So 900 divide, uh, times by 1.7, and again, this is why it's a calculator question. If I type that in my calculator, I get dollars 1530. So that's my answer, 1530 dollars. The second part of this question says, after his holiday, Jamie changes $160 back into pounds. The exchange rate is still £1 is $1.70. How much money should he get? Give your answer to the nearest penny. So again, I'm going to write out my exchange rate. So £1 is $1.70. And this time, the information that they've given me is that he has $160. So I want to write this underneath this sign because my dollars are on the right-hand side. So I'm trying to get back this time, I'm trying to get from the dollars side to the pound side. So to get back across this equation, I'm going to have to divide by 1.7. So 160 divided by 1.7 will give me the answer. And if I type this in my calculator, I get 94.1170. Lots of decimal places. Now it tells you in this question to give it to the nearest penny, but if they didn't say what to do, well, money is always two decimal places, which is what they're asking for anyway. So two decimal places will be 94.12. Here's a simple example for you to try. If you pause the video now, you can unpause when you're ready to see the full solution. Here's the full work solution. So I'm going from pounds to euros this time. The only thing you had to be careful was is that the second part of the question, they said that there was a new exchange rate. So they changed it halfway through the question. So do read the question. Here's a slightly more difficult example. It's a bit more of a worded question. So this question says, a student bought a pair of sunglasses in the USA. He paid $35.50. In England, an identical pair of sunglasses cost £26.99. The exchange rate is £1 to $1.42. In which country were the sunglasses cheaper and by how much? Show all your work in. So in order for me to compare where they're cheaper, I'm going to have to get them to the same currency. So I've got an option here. I can either change the 35 50 into pounds or I can change the 26.99 into dollars. Now because this is going from pounds to dollars I think it would be easier to change this from pounds 
to dollars. But either way is fine. And they don't ask me in the question to do it in a certain currency. They just say, and by how much? So they'll accept my answer in pounds or dollars. So I'm going to write out my exchange rate. I have that one pound is 1.42 dollars. So I'm going to change the 26.99. So 26.99 in dollars. Well, to get from this side to this side, I am multiplying by 1.42. So I'm going to multiply 26.99 by 1.42. In my calculator to two decimal places I get 38.33 dollars. But I've not quite finished the question yet. It asks me in which country are the sunglasses cheaper? Well this that I've just calculated is the cost of them in England and the 35.50 is the cost in the USA. So the USA is cheaper. I'm going to write that down now so I've got it. The USA is cheaper. But it also asks me by how much. So I'm going to have to do my 38.33 take away 35.50 and that gives me 2.83 dollars. So I'm just going to write it on my answer line to make sure I've definitely answered it. USA by 2.83 dollars. Here's one of these questions for you to try. If you pause the video now, you can unpause when you're ready to see the full solution. Here's the full solution. So in this question, it was sensible to change the cost of the jeans in the USA, so the $67, into pounds, because it actually asks you, give your answer in pounds. So we, I converted the 67 into 50 pounds and then worked out the difference between. It's actually not asking where it's cheaper, it's just asking for this difference. You could have converted the 47.50 into dollars, then worked out the difference, then converted the difference back into pounds. But that would be a more complicated way around it. But either way, the correct answer is £2.50. Thank you for watching.